All right, welcome to yet another episode of the Business Plus. My name is Rachel Kahogu, and today we are coming to you from Nairobi. And as you're watching me, it's around 7:30 in the PM, either on a Monday or the repeat on a Friday. I hope you've been well. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful day. So today we are coming to you from Zuka's Logistics Company, and I'm holding this because it's a red card. So at Zuka's Logistics Company, what they do, it's a courier services company. So they deliver whatever you want. So if you've ordered anything online, the, the company will deliver that for you. And today I'm with David Ogola, who is the CEO of this company. And he'll be telling us about how he's been able to establish the company. So if you're wondering, we say here in the Business Plus that business is more than meets the eye. And uh, all you do is just look at the gap in the society and just realize that I can actually make business out of this and go with it. So that is what he did and he's actually making money out of it because you say business is more than meet the eye. Let's learn about this together and make money out of this. Also, if you're in the same business, this is an opportunity for you to scale up your business. So this is the place to be, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for having us today. You're welcome. Yeah, we're very happy and we are ready to learn. You're welcome, you're welcome. Yeah. So, introduce yourself, then tell us about Zuka's Logistics Company. I have uh, many, many names. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> I would choose to use four for today. Four names? Yes. So All right. My name is David Ochien Ogola Kobu. Why do you have all these names though? Uh, Kobu is a family name. Okay. Ochien is my name, uh -huh. uh, my identity in the village, mm -hmm. and uh, Ogola is my father's name. Mm -hmm. David is, is it surname? name? Yeah. Um, oh, English name. Your English name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. English name is, so I prefer David Ogola. Ah. Yes. Okay. So tell us about Zuka's logistics company. Uh, Zuka's is a very interesting company. Uh -huh. uh, I envisioned this company long when I was working with uh, Fago Kuria. Mm -hmm. I used to work with Fago Kuria since 2016, direct from uh, uh, college. Mm -hmm. I went to work with Fago Kuria right from the law. I was a cleaner at that company. Mm -hmm. I joined as a cleaner in 2016, worked yeah. for three months. Mm -hmm. I was given a promotion, mm -hmm. so I got to do what we call courier escort mm -hmm. then. And uh, these are the people who go in the truck, they do collections and delivery of all the parcels. Uh -huh. So along the way I was learning. Mm -hmm. I took another five months, I was given another promotion. Mm -hmm. So I joined a team of sales mm -hmm. called retail department. Mm -hmm. So we do cash sales in Fargo Korea then. Mm -hmm. So I kept learning and perfected my skills of sales. Mm -hmm. So I worked until I reached a point I felt to myself that I could not uh, maybe go beyond the level mm -hmm. that I had gone. So yeah. I decided to resign. Mm -hmm. So I resigned way back in 2020. Mm -hmm. I ventured into other business. I've been to Mutumba business, mm -hmm. then went to Spa. Then that's where I raised the capital to be able to get started at Zuka's mm -hmm. last year, October. Yeah. Yes, that's when Zuka's was born. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's actually like from uh, from one step to another, yes, as you yes. say, from grace to grace. Yes, yes, and yes. Um, I've seen that Umisema, you started off as a cleaner. Yes. And uh, we always say, Hapa <clears throat> the Business Plus, that it's okay to start from wherever you are. Uta grow to. Yes, yes, because yes. as you can see, yeah, Lianza is a cleaner and right now he's actually owning a company. So that tells you Mahaliuko, you have to start from there. So <clears throat> um, what would you say is the advantage of you starting off from a company, yes. um, a courier company, to now you having your own company rather than just sitting and studying online and you know thinking that I, ha I have the passion for this, I can do this. What do you think is the, is the advantage of actually working in another company first? You see, for me, I would say that uh, uh, through working with uh, this Fago Kuria company and I had not cleared, actually, I did not clear my university. Mm -hmm. So I could not get the salary that I want mm -hmm. for me to sustain my life and my family mm -hmm. back home. Mm -hmm. So I decided to pursue business because that's when I can raise money. Nobody can employ me and pay me as per my expectations. Yeah. So I decided, ah, let me get in 
mm-hmm. and I found it very interesting because personally I was born a sales person. Mm-hmm. So I think it's just the journey that God took me through mm-hmm. so that I get to Fargo, go all through the departments. Actually I worked through all the departments, mm-hmm. be it reception, be it customer care, yeah. be it all the departments. Mm-hmm. So you actually so learned everything. Me, it prepared me to be mm-hmm. where I am today. Uh-huh. So what reason why I took uh, Zookas, mm-hmm. I have a quite a number of services that we offer, okay. which is somehow unique from what Fago Kure is giving. Mm-hmm. Because I know a little bit of their weaknesses mm-hmm. and the gap. Mm-hmm. So that's when I saw, uh, let me let me try uh, to put my service in the logistics. It's a big, big, big industry. Okay. So, so maybe if I touch a few the things services about my services, yeah, right. yes, or I'll say products. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zucas has three products. Okay. One product is called same day delivery services within Nairobi. Mm-hmm. It's at an affordable price. Uh-huh. So currently we are doing Nairobi deliveries, mm-hmm. but we are soon expanding to Nakuru, Mombasa, and Kisumu. Okay. Doing same day deliveries. Mm-hmm. So as at now, our client is somewhere, let's say somewhere in Gong Road. Mm-hmm. They give us a call. Mm-hmm. I send my rider who is in that area mm-hmm. to go and collect and deliver. Or who's already in that area? Yes, we okay. have zones. We zone Nairobi. Mm-hmm. So we have a rider serving a particular area, mm-hmm. another rider serving a particular area, and okay. another one that is serving, it's now feeding these other, these other routes. Mm-hmm. So if a guy has a parcel in Gong Road that is going to Thika Road, mm-hmm. he will come somewhere around uh, NHIF community area, mm-hmm. meet the rider from uh, what we call Town C. Okay. So he'll give this uh, parcel to this rider, then this rider will move from here to the other zone and meet the other rider. Mm-hmm. So we save time in ah, between. Okay. So we can manage to do the same day services. Ah. Another uh, service that we do mm-hmm. is called dedicated. I have a dedicated rider. Mm-hmm. I can organize with a company that needs riders, mm-hmm. but it is them who plan and send them, assigns them the job. Mm-hmm. So I can give them my rider. Mm-hmm. They are the people, he reports there. They plan what he does throughout the day okay. until close of business. Mm-hmm. But the, the rider is working for us. All right, so it's like you giving your rider yes. to another company. Yes, yes. Mm, that's unique. Uh, quite, it's quite common with pharmaceuticals distributors. Uh-huh. Okay. So they will need to get some drugs delivered here and there. Mm-hmm. And it's sometimes it's, it's urgent. So yeah. if they call us, we organize. So we just give them a dedicated rider. Mm-hmm. So they are the people who plan all the deliveries for our rider. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can then the last service? service is called one hour mm-hmm. delivery service. Okay. Like today we are having an interview. Mm-hmm. You might come here leaving your laptop at home. Yeah. You need it urgently. Mm-hmm. We are just a phone call away from you. Mm-hmm. you give us a call. We connect with our rider in that area. Mm-hmm. Then it stops everything. Uh-huh. So it comes with a price. It's quite expensive. The most oh, okay. expensive service we have. Mm, because it's actually urgent. It actually, we'll stop everything we are doing. Mm-hmm. We concentrate on, on make sure we deliver mm-hmm. within one hour or less. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. Yes. So apart from that, what you said that it's actually more expensive than the others and yes. you've actually given us the reasons. Yes, yes. How do you get your rates? Because I see this the rate card you have yes, here. Yes, yes. So how do you come up with these rates? Just to make sure that at this particular place, this is, this is the rate. Mm-hmm. Nakwenda to this other particular place, this is the rate. It actually depends with the, there are two types of rates that I give. Mm-hmm. This one is the standard rate, okay. the one you're holding. Mm-hmm. The standard rate that uh, I give to my clients depending on the distance. Mm-hmm. If you are closer to CBD because we are uh, situated CBD, yeah. the price will be a little bit lower, mm-hmm. uh, from 200 shillings, mm-hmm. I would say. Okay. Uh, we, depending on the sa- size as well. Mm-hmm. And if the, the package is bigger, Obviously, the price the will price go up. Bigger, it's, yeah. it's a small package which we concentrate on. We mm-hmm. concentrate on the small parcels. Okay. Manageable weights at mm-hmm. most 10 kgs. Mm-hmm. So those ones from town, the price are a bit lower. Mm-hmm. If you so long as the, the way you move outside town, the mm-hmm. price goes up. Yeah. So the far we cover Nairobi, the whole of Nairobi except Thika. We mm-hmm. go up to Juja. Mm-hmm. We go Kitengela. Why go except Thika? Thika is quite far, and we don't have volumes to Thika. Okay. On us. So business-wise. 
it's no we don't have it's not profitable for us okay yes but so, these are the areas we mm, cover sawa, sawa. Yeah. so mentioning about that the fact that it's not profitable to you mm. um to deliver around pika mm. so for someone who's having a courier services company or someone yes. who's looking forward to mm. open one yes. what are some of the things that you're supposed to concentrate on just to make sure that your business gives you profit because that's the whole point of a business it you see business is different it has it is interest uh-huh. you see for me the reason why i opened this or i started this company is to offer a quality mm-hmm. service mm-hmm. delivery to my clients because i've been there i've met clients i'm also a business i sell things so mm-hmm. i know what is lacking in the market yeah this uh, if we, if you are in kuria the biggest uh input you can have in courier business is just communication mm-hmm. and many people don't know yeah if i have parcels like today of over 100 parcels here mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what i do i make sure all these 100 clients are communicated to mm-hmm. professionally okay yes mm-hmm. if we cannot manage to deliver today because of any of the reasons one or two reasons yeah. we call and notify both clients the mm-hmm. person receiving and the person who sent okay so the key input in business mm-hmm. in courier business is just communication communication and you perfect communication mm-hmm. you grow your uh, your network or your market mm-hmm. yes yes, wow. yes that's wow. a secret i can tell anybody wow and that's yeah. a very major i uh, think that you said about yes. communication yes, yes, because yes. of course there's always the drawing line in every business yes, so yes. as you've told us if you're looking for to opening a courier services company or you already have one then you must know that communication is everything now just say to communication communication in a professional way see let to copy that yo atutaweza kutuma vitu zako no you don't do that mm. so you have to communicate and communicate professionally mm. so that's it um we'll go to the second part but just before that because we still have a lot to talk about in the courier services we'll be getting into the business one on one the business tip then we'll be coming right back because you need to know what's happening in the courier businesses and you need to know how to scale up your business business is more than meets the eye hi viewers uh, my name is david ogola as uh, i'd said before i'm in uh, a courier industry and my company is called zukas logistics uh, limited uh, i created this company not too long ago we are almost uh, getting to a year and uh, i would say courier is very very wide so it depends if you are a person out there who wants to invest in courier industry or uh, logistics uh and you want to try this business there are a few things that you need to have or you need to know the first thing i would say is the vision uh the vision you have as the owner of the business uh what do you want to give out there for your for your clients or uh, customers i would say because there are many gaps in the business for us what we decided to do uh we knew because i've been in the in the market for a decade i've been in the courier business for a decade before i started mine working for mm-hmm. another courier company so i knew where the gap was so at least i knew where to attack so i created uh, zukas and we have quite a number of services we do same day delivery services within nairobi uh, we are soon moving into other cities like kisumu Mombasa and 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 Nakuru later Eldoret if need be to other towns like we are also considering Meru so those are the kind of services i do same day i do i do one hour service i do dedicated service uh, i've already explained how we do this and i would say the key component about courier business is about communication communication should be a very professional communication because as we deal with the customers which means we deal with emotions so somebody like me I may order something online through company A or an online platform A and they give us to deliver uh, maybe it was something very others need it as a gift others need it uh, maybe they are attending a function they need something very urgently so communication is key and it has to be very very professional and when you promise you only promise what you can deliver if you cannot deliver do not promise a client 
So that will be a failure. That's why I'm insisting that the most important input in courier business is communication. That communication has to be professional. Uh, the second part after now getting everything is getting the team, assembling the team to deliver your vision. Because in Korea, the biggest disadvantage of Korea company is it needs manpower. You must do it with many people. You can't do it yourself. So you need to assemble a team that will deliver your vision and take the company to the next level. So those are the few things you want to get started. It depends. It actually depends on, uh, on, on, uh, on the level, uh, I would say the scale of operations. It depends. You can start if, like us, we do same day. We basically start with riders as we upscale now, which means we are considering small packets, small parcels of maybe 10 kgs and below which riders can handle. But as we upscale, or as you upscale, you can move into trucks, you can now move goods, even into turns within point A to point B. It depends. It's actually an open space for any investor. You can start small, you can start big, so long as you know what you want to do. So the, uh, the other part, I would say that business, as any other business, business has its ups and downs. and. Uh, what it needs is consistency and the most important thing is discipline. You need discipline because you handle other clients' items. The parcels that we deliver are not ours. They are other people's which maybe they have sold and so it needs discipline from right from the person delivering. And that's what I can say about uh, uh, this business called Korea. It's very, very, very profitable. That one I can assure you. If you attack it the right way, the business of Korea is very, very profitable. Uh, my name is David Ogola. I'm the founder, CEO. I also use my name as an investor of Zucas Logistics uh, Limited. We are based here in Nairobi and you are watching Business Plus. Perfect, so we are back after the Business 101. I know that you have some very nice tips that you need. Now you're ready to start this business. But before we're ready, Kwanza, let's get into the second part because you need to be very ready for a business. And by the way, it's not easy to start a business. It needs you to have the push for it. And I'm telling you this because I've tried. So yeah. <laughs> we could be telling you to try and start a career business. Alafu useme, yeah, I'll try. Alafu kienda kuanza ukuja tena to text hapa that eh hey, kahugu I I just felt like that's not the right business for me apana. If you feel you love doing it, I'm telling you right now, it's not the easiest thing, but ukishaanza hivi it will flow. Issue tu inakuanga kuanza. And now that you're talking about having an issue with starting a business because yes. the starting point is always the biggest step and you can confirm that yes yes, yes. right yes. so maybe just to give us the um what what are the steps of opening up a mm. courier service business uh i know i like writing uh -huh. so one thing i'll tell you there's mm. something called burning desire uh -huh. If you have a burning desire to open a courier account, this is where it starts. Mm -hmm. There has to be some interest from within that uh, I am saying not necessarily that uh, you must have experience in this. Okay. You can just be, you've been using because every day mm -hmm. in our lives, yeah. there has to be something involving logistics. Mm -hmm. Moving through one point A, point B, yeah. both human and goods is logistics. Mm -hmm. So in one way or the other, you must use this service. Okay. So you can't be interested whether you have experience or not. Mm -hmm. So one thing, if you have the burning desire to open a courier business, mm -hmm. if you are experienced, there are two ways. You can't be experienced, you are coming from within. You have an experience of courier mm -hmm. or logistics. Logistics is very wide, it's yeah. a big industry. Mm -hmm. There are so many things you can touch on. Okay. So one person can be from within, then the other person can just be having the desire without the experience. Uh -huh. They have money as an investor. Yeah. So he has money or she has money, mm -hmm. she wants to put in, she is convinced that this business of logistics is, yeah, the best. is the best. You can come in, but the most important thing is how to identify the team mm -hmm. that is going to work on your behalf. Yeah. Because you are now as an investor, mm -hmm. you don't work there. Yeah. Unlike me, mm -hmm. I've been in the industry, I know a few things, clearly all the, every, I work Everything. in all departments, yeah. be it 
uh, warehousing, mm -hmm. everything about logistics mm -hmm. is here mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. But there could be somebody out there who thinks and sees uh, logistics as money, I need to mm -hmm. invest. So if you are such a person, the best thing you can do is work so hard mm -hmm. to identify a team mm -hmm. that can deliver your vision. Okay. Yes. A team with experience. Yes, now. Uh -huh. You move, like for me, mm -hmm. uh, my manager here, uh, is a guy I trained mm -hmm. when I was working with the other Toya company. Ah, Fargo. nice. Uh -huh. I like about talking about Fargo because mm -hmm. they made me who I am. Yeah. So right. I'm not afraid to mention them. Mm -hmm. uh, so I trained him uh, when he joined, mm -hmm. and we worked some together. Later, mm -hmm. he moved to another company, mm -hmm. and uh, I had to go convincing him for two days with my vision. Yeah. We didn't have anything at that mm -hmm. time. So <laughs> just the vision yeah. that we Showing are going him to what be you here. have in your mind. Yes. So mm -hmm. he came along and we've been here from last year up to now. Ah, he nice. just stepped out, I think you saw it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. So after having the burning desire. Burning desire. If you are a person with experience, you can go on. And also creating a team is key for everybody. Mm -hmm. It is more important for a person who has no experience. Okay. So you need to find people with experience, the right character. And uh, we say the biggest input in Korea business is communication. Yeah. So you need to find that ingredient mm. in these people that you are, oh, your you're team, and assemble your team. All right. And uh, once you have a good uh, structure, mm -hmm. you have to have a structure, you can now have people who are unexperienced, mm -hmm. but they will get trained by the people who are handling the business. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Yes. So after now you have a good team yes. and uh, you're ready to start off, What's the next point? What am I really supposed to do? Because now it's me and my team and we are ready to do this. So, so that one, that one, it means you, have, you shall have registered the company. Mm -hmm. You have identified the location. Now you need to know the product. What do you want to give your clients? Okay. What's the gap, the mm -hmm. niche mm -hmm. that you saw in this market? Mm -hmm. Why you want to have this company? Okay. Like for us, we know there are so many traders in this city who are mm -hmm. finding, fi finding it difficult to deliver their items within the very because if somebody orders even you if mm -hmm. you order something online yeah. you want it to be delivered the very day yeah. or even the very minute mm -hmm. now that is the gap that i saw because i also buy online yeah. it's very difficult for me to wait for this delivery yeah. i need to for buy three it. days five days yes yeah. so that's what i saw and i said ah this is where if it is minting, then I'll mint. Ah, <laughs> so you have to identify the gap yes, that you want yes, to fill. Yes, now your service. After okay. having the burning desire and getting the team, mm -hmm. now they need to deliver, but on what? Mm -hmm. Now the key services, the niche, the gap. Okay. Because as we are covering those three for now, mm -hmm. we will still move as we expand. Mm. But Korea is so wide. Okay. So wide. Wow. And uh, of course for our courier services, uh, company you yes. need to deliver um, what you need to deliver on time yes, yes. and uh, with safety especially yes, yes. when it's it's something that is actually fragile yes, so yes. how do you make sure that whatever you're delivering gets there on time and it's yes. safe uh, on time we zone mm -hmm. for us if we're working here in Nairobi we, we do zoning mm -hmm. of this town mm -hmm. uh, a certain parts estates is served by a particular rider like, yeah. like yes you can zone it in 5-3 depending on your capacity. Mm -hmm. You can zone it in 5-3. If you have, uh, if you can cover the whole of Nairobi, you mm -hmm. need to zone it in 5 areas. Okay. So it means you must have at least 6 riders for mm -hmm. you to be efficient. You can do with 3, even yeah. 2, but mm -hmm. we're not going to be efficient. Very efficient, right. Yes. So mm -hmm. if you are efficient enough, at mm -hmm. least if you don't have volumes, your volumes even six can't manage. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> six still will not manage. So mm. you still need to subdivide. Mm. It's about zoning. That's okay. what I can say. No Therefore, right. because in Korea, mm -hmm. the safety, the security of the parcels, because you are not the owner. Yeah. yeah so you need security right. mm. and at least product knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because the person delivering and the owner, the person who has bought this item, uh -huh. expect the person delivering to know at least what is the package. Yeah. At least you can give a, a small description mm -hmm. of what they are buying or what they bought, mm -hmm. which totally is not our, our services, our main service, but it mm -hmm. is like a plus. Yeah. So for us, we concentrate when we have a client A, mm -hmm. we go have a, a meeting with them, we mm -hmm. discuss about their product, mm -hmm. and we in turn come and train our team just a bit. They should know at least a few things about this product. So okay. that when you deliver it is complete. There's no mm, gap. All right. Those are the secrets now if you're uh, in the business. 
you need to sharpen a yeah. few areas yes, then yes. will be the most preferable mm-hmm. in Korea company within Nairobi. Ah, nice. Yes. And that makes you unique yes, because yes, also yes. you need to make your business unique. Because yes. we have a lot of Korea services companies, but you have to make yours very unique. Yes, right? yes, yes. So let's talk about the technology part. Yeah, because yeah. again, you yeah. need people to reach you and yes, they yes. can't really come physically because they're even buying online. Yes, right? yes, yes. So how do you just keep up with the technology and make sure that people can get you guys online? Technology was, I would say, we are behind, mm. but uh, we have a uh, we have a Facebook page, uh, Zucas Logistics. Mm-hmm. We have an Instagram page, mm-hmm. Zucas Logistics. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are working on a, on a, on a website and mm-hmm. a platform where our customers can track their orders online. Mm-hmm. We are not yet there, but it's a working progress. Okay. That uh, when we pick an item from mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. we generate a receipt. We are now using uh, what we call a paper, paper webbies, like this one here. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. We are using mm-hmm. paper webbies. So we just write all the details you remain with a copy, mm-hmm. but you cannot track it. Mm-hmm. So for us to keep up what we do, we have a WhatsApp group with all our clients. Ah, nice. As soon as it is delivered, mm-hmm. we take a picture, we send on that group, mm-hmm. but we keep you updated all okay. the time. Okay. So that's what we are doing as we wait to transit to uh, fully automated, mm-hmm. where we give you a receipt which mm-hmm. is trackable online. You yeah. can see all the chronology of this parcel as it moves. Mm-hmm. At this time, it was collected by a rider so yeah. and so. Mm-hmm. It has gone to scanned in the office, mm-hmm. distributed through rider so and so. Yeah. It's delivered by mm-hmm. this time, and the person's signature ID. Mm-hmm and the date is captured. Ah. So right now we capture that in our way bills. Maybe I can share with you yeah. this one of them, like this. Ah, okay. So this is... So uh, this has all the details. Yes, it has all the As details of the see, sender. It, okay, I don't want you to see the details of the sender. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yes. details of the customer. It has a, what we normally say, consignee, consigner. Consign is the sender, consign uh-huh. is the receiver. Okay. Yes. Ah, nice. So we capture so all the details, is, phone number, please, address, mm-hmm. everywhere. So that okay. we don't call you, don't bother you with the calls. Mm. Just, just knock. Yeah. You have to yeah. Go. Ah, yes, yes. Nice. So that's what we So do. that's a that's a good place for a courier company to start yes, because again yes. you don't have to get um like a very large capital for you to start such mm-hmm. a business. Mm-hmm. You've said you start small. Yes. So this is a good way to start and yeah. uh, as you grow, unenda unapanda na technology vile inafa. Yeah. Our aim is to be the biggest mm-hmm. uh, same day delivery company in mm-hmm. this city, Nairobi. Yeah. Mm. And, and we will do that a, very soon. It's actually very, very possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very possible. So as we wind up, um, you've told us a lot about Korea services, yes. but we'd want to know what would you, what would be your your um, bottom line about mm. the Korea services for someone who wants to start such a business, mm. or for someone who's already in such a business and they mm. want to scale up. What would you tell them? Um. If you are in bus- if you want to start the business, you have the burning desire, you want to start the business in Korea, mm-hmm. if you have experience, then it's, uh, it depends on your vision mm-hmm. and the part that you want to attack because Korea is white. Yeah. It involves warehousing, there is what we call uh, intercity deliveries, mm-hmm. you move from Nairobi to Kisumu, yeah. which us we don't do mm-hmm. at the moment, mm-hmm. we only deal with the cities. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we deal deliveries within the city. Mm-hmm. So it depends on the part mm-hmm. and the level of uh, capital you mm-hmm. have. If yeah. you have capital to have trucks, mm-hmm. you can. Yeah. And uh, it's very there are so there are thousands and thousands mm-hmm. of courier companies in this city or in Kenya. Uh-huh. So the uniqueness of your service is what stands out. Mm-hmm. So you must identify the service okay. that you want to give to your clients. Mm-hmm. You must create value mm-hmm. for your clients. Ah, then nice. value you create by a team. Mm-hmm. You must assemble a team that will deliver. Mm-hmm. When they deliver this value, clients will now start coming in calling. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And uh, sales is also very important. Mm-hmm. You now develop a strategy on how to market your company. Yeah. They identify clients who need the service that you are offering. Mm-hmm. Then you market your product as they say, you market your product before it is ready. Yeah. Once you are now in the market you have people to serve. Mm-hmm. You don't just come in the market and you yeah. have no one. 
<laughs> so you have to pre-market. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Like me, I told many, many people that I know. Mm -hmm. I have a company. I have a company. I'll be ready by November. I'll be ready by this time. Yeah. We are already, Before we already it even started. started. Yes, yeah. I was just still doing a few things, waiting mm. for some money mm. and all that. Okay. Then when I got started, I started with the very, very huge volume, which mm -hmm. I cannot handle. It was already marketed. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow. And of course, as you've heard, Sila Zimo wants a big capital. You don't have to start with your courier services with trucks, 50 trucks. You can start with like four or five bikes and like the riders and just send them, uh, distribute them just to make sure that you can handle the people that you're serving. And this is a business that you can handle and it's a business that it's actually growing and it can bring you income because you always say that business has to bring your money because you say business is more than meets the eye. So even as we now wind up for real, <laughs> what's the sustainability of such a business? Would you say that it's a business that is sustainable and you can like actually grow with this business for the longest time or it's a business mm -hmm. and you and lafu kidogo like ah oh, no let me try something else if you don't want to be in business watch and I yeah. the business is ups that's ups and downs mm -hmm. just like life actually the business we are in the future of of uh, the future of shopping is online mm -hmm. True. The future of payment is online. Online. Once you shop online, they have to be shipped. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are, the, the business of Kure is futuristic. Yeah. So we are sure mm -hmm. we will have clients even in 50 years to come. Yeah, right. So it's a very futuristic venture. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important thing is just identifying what you want to give mm -hmm. to the people or yeah. to the market mm -hmm. and assembling the team to deliver that. That's uh, the most important part. Perfect. Yes. Wow, thank you for You're having welcome. us once again and thank you for the knowledge. I know that now our friends, our family, our viewers yes, are yes. ready to start the business and if they're already in such a business, you're now ready to scale up in the particular business. So this has been the Business Plus. Today's episode has been amazing. I hope that you have learned. I hope that you're ready to get into the business space and make money out there. So I'll see you next week on Monday, same time at 7.30 and a repeat of the same will be happening on Friday at 7.30. So till then, bye. See you in the next episode.